morning, everyone. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. Today is Valentine's Day, y'all. I hope y'all are super excited. Um, we have been so busy here at the store, but because I was working the store, I was able to have a lot of dialogue with a lot of you that were coming in. And I saw, I'm, I'm, I, I just want to tell you some of the things that I saw. Um, I saw couples that came in that were super excited that, you know, you could tell that they were all into it, meaning all into each other and all of this kind of stuff. And then I also saw couples that literally, they were just going through the motions. When I'm saying going through the motions, meaning you participating in this holiday because you feel it's an obligation, but it's not something that you really want to do. But let me just say this here because I don't want people to base their relationship or what they think love is based on one day, especially married women. And I'm going to tell you why. Because a lot of times what people have to understand is Valentine's Day is an expression of love. But when you are married, this is something that you all should have ongoing all year long anyway. You all should be dating each other anyway. You all should be experiencing fine dining fine dining certain times throughout the year anyway. You all should be getting flowers unexpectedly anyway. So I don't ever want you to feel like because your partner couldn't meet your level of expectation or perfection or whatever it was for this particular day that something is wrong or y'all have a problem in your relationship or this person doesn't feel a certain type of way about you, that is not necessarily the case. What happens for some people is everybody, one, is not good. Everybody don't give good gifts, okay? Um, everybody is just not involved with what they feel like is the hype of Valentine's Day, especially when you're dealing with husbands who know what they do all year long. So, for example, if I know that I take care of my wife or my family all year long, I know that I'm sending flowers randomly all year long, I know that I'm stepping up to the plate all year long, then for me, this particular day is pretty much just another day, okay? Another thing that I want to talk about is a lot of, a lot of ladies came in and they wanted to do Valentine's. They wanted to do all of this here, but they still harbored so much hurt in their heart. Meaning they was like, oh, well, you know, Miss Sharonda, I'm doing all this here, but he don't deserve it. You know, I'm doing all of this here, but, you know, pretty much I'm going through the motions with it. Because I don't feel like the person that I'm with is really deserving of A, B, C, and D. But I'm going to go forward and do it anyway. Let me tell you something about forgiveness. And I, and I wanted to do a whole video on forgiveness. I've done one in the past. But when you're choosing to continue to have people in your life, the forgiveness is for you. It's not necessarily for them. The forgiveness is for you. Okay? We have to stop expecting perfection from people. Do we expect people to hurt us? No. But let me just be honest with you. People will disappoint you from time to time. I had to tell my husband this morning, everybody that walks this earth is flawed. We all have flaws, meaning that we're not going to always get it right. Our behavior not going to always be on point. Sometimes we're going to get slick at the mouth on your end and on my end. But that does not mean that your marriage is in trouble. That does not mean your world is coming to the end. That does not mean that you need to be printing out divorce papers. That it does not mean all of that. It means that you all have to understand what conflict resolution is and learn how to work through certain conflicts. You can't let all of what, what then happened throughout the entirety of your life. If you got a history with somebody and you got a 30 year history with somebody, you can't let one thing that go on negate that whole 30 years. And I see a lot of y'all do that. And the thing is, if that one thing was so bad that it negates the whole 30 years that y'all done been together, let it go. If you, I had somebody that seriously sent me in my inbox on, not my inbox, my DM on Instagram, 
My husband is good to me. He did this, but I can't let it go. I, I can't move past it. My mind won't let me move past it. We are in therapy. I want this thing to work, but I cannot move past it. It's up to you to allow a certain situation to keep you in bondage. I refuse to let anything keep me in bondage mentally. I refuse because I enjoy waking up every day with peace, with grace, a new day, new blessings, new opportunities. I enjoy waking up every day with all this newness. So the thing is, I know that I can't afford to let this bondage weigh me down because I can't be my best self if I'm allowing this bondage to weigh me down. If you can't move forward and move past it, let it go. Let it go, meet somebody else, get a fresh slate of somebody who ain't did you nothing and let it go. But I promise you, if you stick with them long enough, they will disappoint you too because they are human. And I'm not always talking about the disappointment is infidelity because that's the thing that everybody loves to talk about when we're dealing with relationships. But sometimes they may opt to do something for their mama and didn't you feel like they didn't put you first. Or you may feel like they didn't make the best decision with uh, bonus children or, or, or children, you know, stepkids. You might have felt like you wasn't put first at that particular time. What I'm trying to get you to understand is if you stick with people long enough, somewhere along the lines, they're not going to be perfect and disappointment will happen. But if you know that you're the type of person that you can't let nothing go, you don't forgive you don't extend grace. All of these things that you want people to give to you and do for you, you know you can't do it for other people. Be by yourself. That's the best thing you could do is be single. Because when you decide that you want to be in any type of relationship, a sexual relationship, romantic relationship, family relationship, any type of relationship, you have to possess the ability to be able to forgive. If you one of them people that cannot forgive and you can't let certain things go and every time you show up to the family function, you got to bring that old shit up, baby, just be by yourself, meaning stay in your house by yourself. Don't talk to nobody at the job. Do not establish relationships with people because you're going to continue to be disappointed when you want perfection from people who are not perfect. The only perfect person that walked this earth was Jesus and ain't none of us him. Stop trying to make people be God. When you try to make people be God and they don't meet up to your expectation, you can expect to be disappointed. You can expect not to be able to enjoy little holidays like this called Valentine's Day. You can expect not to want to do nothing for steak and blowjob day, which is March 14th. You can expect for Christmas to roll around and you still got your mouth stuck out. You can expect that because you holding people to a level of expectation that is unreal. They are not God. They're not perfect. They will disappoint from time to time. Now, I ain't telling nobody to stay through nothing over and over and over and over again. I did not say that. But if you know that whatever they did to disappoint you, that you cannot move forward, stop wasting your time and theirs. You shouldn't be coming out in public and y'all can't even make a purchase together because your mouth stuck out and his mouth stuck out. But y'all here together making a purchase. Y'all showing up to participate in a holiday. Mad and all. When, when y'all operating on that type of level and y'all are toxic like that to each other to where y'all in public and people can see it, y'all need serious counseling. You need to get your insurance, go to your job, look at your insurance package and see what it covers and get in some serious counseling. I saw a lot of beautiful couples yesterday, but I saw a lot of couples yesterday that were in serious, serious trouble. Another thing is, you know, you can't count people's pockets. Yes, these holidays and all of this stuff roll around, but bills still got to be paid. And the thing is, if you know, like,
like we in the middle of COVID right now. Let's let's start that. We in the middle of COVID. A lot of people have not only lost their jobs, but hours have been cut. So they might not be able to do for you this year the way that they were able to do years in the past. So if they come into the store and they bring you here to get a $10 pair of edible panties, y'all make that shit work. And you enjoy that shit. Because you ain't had your pussy A with the edible panties on before. And it's a whole new experience for you and him. And so what if it only costs $10? Enjoy the moment. So what if y'all wasn't able to buy steak this year and y'all had to grill pork chops? You enjoy that shit this year. Y'all have to stop trying to keep up with other people because your situation ain't their situation. And if you know you got somebody good and you know this person is trying and you know COVID has impacted their livelihood, you need to extend a little grace to them. And you shouldn't be sitting up there comparing it to the person you saw on Instagram that got a call for Valentine's Day. I guarantee you a note came with it. Most people ain't able to just show up and purchase a Lexus brand new and don't have a note attached to it. I need y'all to use some of y'all common sense. I need y'all to be grateful for the things and the people that God has put in your life. I'm so serious. Because the last thing you want to do is make people feel like they can't they can't uh, reap these expectations that you have set. When you do, when you set the bar so high with things that you know that they can't do, that shit is discouraging. It is discouraging. You know this person don't have the, you, you see what they bring in. You know the hours that they work. You know that they cannot afford to spend a certain amount of money on you right now. You know taxes ain't hit yet like it used to in the past. By now, y'all know people beating got their taxes by now. Um, uh, years ago, before the Barack Obama administration, people was getting their taxes in January. Now people not getting their taxes until March. You know that they don't have their extra money right now. All I'm saying is use a little bit of your common sense. Okay? Because this day is about love. And love, I, I love it that y'all come in here and spend money. Don't get me wrong. But expressing love has nothing to do with the amount of money that you spend. It doesn't. So stop putting those two together like that. Because expressing love has nothing to do with how much a person spends. Stop sticking your mouth out when your spouse go and get you a practical gift. Meaning something that you can utilize on an everyday basis. You going to get that big ass bag. It's going to sit in the corner. It's going to look at you. You going to look at it. Your balloons going to go down. Your rose is going to die. But your spouse chose to get you something practical. I saw one of my ladies who got a, a set of pots. And she was happy as hell about that set of pots. She said, this is the shit that I've been wanting. But guess what? She going to have them pots. For not only this Valentine's Day, but for next Valentine's Day too. So when your spouse go out there and get you something practical, say thank you. Say I appreciate that. I'm going to use this every day. Yeah. If your spouse gets you something out the ordinary and it wasn't necessarily the gift that you thought you should have got, just say thank you, baby. We don't know what was going on or why they got chose to get that particular gift, but it's a gift. Say thank you. Say thank you. Now, if you see that this person is not a good, good uh, is not a good gift giver, what you can do ahead of time is say, these are the type of things that I like. These are the stores that I shop from. These are the websites that I order from. When you're getting something from me, here go, here are some suggestions. I'm not picking for you. I'm giving you suggestions. We are women. We are thinkers, meaning that we plan shit way ahead of time. Valentine's Day was planned last year for some of y'all. For this year. We are planners. A lot of times men are not planners like that. Okay? So, 
With that being said, my time is up. It is 10 o'clock. The PPG store is now open. We are still fully stocked. We still have lingerie. We still have massage oils. We still have edible body toppings. I'm about to get up in here and get to making a few more baskets. So if you want to come and see me, come see me. I am fully stocked with $10 edible panties. So if y'all couldn't do nothing else and y'all had muscled up $10, come get you some edible panties, baby, and enjoy yourself today, okay? You all be blessed. You all be safe. Come see me here at the PPG store. Shop online. The website is down below YouTube. Like, share, and subscribe. Stop expecting perfection from people. They are human. There's only one perfect person, and that's God, and ain't none of us him. Okay? Don't don't have your don't work your nerves and be all upset over, over foolishness. No, 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 no. We adults, we grown, we middle-aged people. If you in your 40s like me, you middle-aged. We middle-aged people. We walk in wisdom. And we understand them, them babies out there doing all this stuff for courtship. They trying to get pussy and all this. See, you, you, you married. You get pussy every day. Come on. Use some of your common sense. And stop coming up here with your mouth stuck out. And put a smile on your face. Through your mask. I see all in y'all eyes. Face all wrinkled up and all this shit. Because y'all frustrated and upset. Mm -hmm, I see. All right. Y'all be blessed.